Hey guys, I'm coming back with a little project here I'm working on. Um, those of you who pay attention to my page, which I don't think is many, but if you do, will remember that I modified my Wi-Fi router with a fan. Well, it's doing the trick, but now that I got the surveillance system, it's actually heating it up. A little bit more and the fans pretty much struggling to cool off so what I'm gonna do is take the guts out of this the actual case and I want to move it into something but I haven't what I wanted to move it into was like a jewelry box that has this little tall that way I can put this fan right here put it in there and it'll blow more air onto the actual board that's in the Wi-Fi router. Now, it's getting hard to find somebody who has a wooden box. I don't know why. Any other time I see a box and I don't need it, but now when I need one, can't find one. So what I did was I butchered this subwoofer thing that I got from a friend a long time ago, Erica. Um, it worked, but the subwoofer didn't work, so I was like, well, I can give the electronics to somebody, they can do something with it, but I can use the shell that it was in, put the Wi-Fi board inside, and mount maybe one, maybe even two fans in there, and that will solve my issue. So I invested in this thermostat here, it's a 12 volt thermostat, and let me show you how it works. Let me stand this fan up here. As you can tell, I am extremely bored and a geek, so hold on one moment, plug this in here. Okay, right now, I have a thermostat set at about 20 degrees, so this little probe here, I'm just going to have to put near the heat sink would it gets high in the waffle rider once I move it and as you can see once I put my hand on it the temperature is going to rise and as soon as it hits 21 degrees it trips a normally it would come on but I have it for delay in case like the thing gets you know like hot or not um, it's a minute delay so bear with me here all right, so I take my finger off and it should stabilize the temperature. And within a minute, the fan should kick on. Just bear with me here. Should kick on shortly. Like I said, I have it delayed for a minute. There we go. So once it reaches a certain minute, I can actually set it to be instantaneous, but. I figure why not have a delay in it just in case the thing cools down on its own but and as you can see even though it doesn't sound powerful it's actually blowing out a pretty good amount of air and the adapter I'm using has a lot of power in it so I think I'm going to mount about three or four of those in here if I can't find a jewelry box and once this goes back down to 20 degrees it will shut off so Keep watching the numbers here and we should see it cut off shortly. Okay, 22. And once it's 20, it will shut off. Perfect. And of course, the fan will stop spinning. And when the Wi-Fi router gets hot again, to a certain degree, it will turn back on and automatically cool my Wi-Fi router. Like I said, you know, you all know I'm a geek, so I like doing little projects like this. Now, if I can't get it to work in here, if I can't find anyone who can help me cut that open so I can put it in there, then I'm going to have to find a jewelry box somewhere that I can use. And my plan is I'll put the Wi-Fi board in the bottom of the jewelry box. I'll cut holes in the top of the jewelry box for the fan, mount the fan on the actual lid, so when I open the lid, I can do easy maintenance, you know, cleaning out dust, whatnot. Close the lid, and the fan will be blowing on the board. 
and just keep it clean. But anyway, I'll update you this video once I find a box or something suitable I can move the router guts to and make a more professional automatic cooling system for my router. I'll keep you updated. Bye bye now. Alright guys, I'm coming back to you. As you know, I was working on a Wi-Fi air conditioner project. Um, came back and made two more small mods and this should this is my final revision of this and now I should have a much cooler router and hopefully making it free. The only things I've changed from the pictures you saw earlier was I added a fan here. I don't know if you can see it. That's the one that was originally on top of here. And originally I was going to put it across that heat sink with the probe on it, but I couldn't find a way to mount it. And then I figured, well, hey, there's a heat sink right there too, so maybe I can get both in one suit. So that should take care of that. And essentially where the fan is mounted, the air would blow up into both of them. And then out of that fan over here. So it's research and development. And the probe, if you remember from my other pictures... I originally had it. See, I don't know if my camera's gonna focus here. Looks like it's not. But anyway, I originally had that probe going up this way, but on my first run, which I kind of should have figured, the heat sink actually melted the hot glue, which made the probe fall off. I didn't notice it until I came home today. So I, instead, I glued, I glued the probe onto this metal box over here. Which actually goes to, I think that's the, that's for the cable, where the actual cable comes in. And I glued it on there, and it's just basically dangling over the heat sink. So now I don't have to worry about the glue melting off, because obviously the cable box isn't going to get hot. And hopefully the fan should keep things cool in that area anyway. So, that's about it. Um, get everything hooked up here. And see how we go from there. I'll be back. Hey gang, just got home. My router was off and it clicked on for a moment. It's doing the job, see? It's doing what I built it to do. It is keeping the router cool automatically. I wish I would have caught it coming on, but let's see. I got it for 30 degrees Celsius and yeah, it's jumping back up. It usually cranks up on 31 degrees. But it took a while for it to get there. But as you can see, it cut itself off. So it's doing what I built it to do. So folks, my idea works. Looks like it's creeping back up there. Let me start my computer up because normally it makes that chip heat up a little bit more. And then you will see it automatically, tongue tied, automatically come on and cool itself back off. Alright, it's creeping up. It's normal because I just turned my computer on, so it's making the processor and the Wi Fi board work. As you can see, it's creeping up again. And like I said, at 30, 31 degrees Celsius, it'll come back on and automatically cool itself. I have two fans, one on the side and one in the front, and I have a little small fan on the inside that's always on, so that's always cool on the board as well, that kind of helps with this keeping itself cool, and shortly it should, it's creeping up now, um, sorry I have to wait, but this is a, one of those projects I just feel extremely proud of. Because A, no one's ever made something like this, probably other than me. And it's just awesome. Um, come on. Alright, I tell you what guys, because it's, it's taking it just a little bit to get back to 31. Let me give it a few more seconds here. Bear with me. Of course, when the video gets published, you can just skip ahead and I'll tell you what number to skip to. But I don't know if you can hear it. The small fan, which is on the board that I hot glued, is running. Okay, it's about to, about to click on, folks. This is about to get exciting. 
This is about to get very exciting. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so pumped up about this project, but it's just cool. I like gadgets and stuff like this. This is neat. Come on, 30, 39 or 30.9. See, while I'm doing it, let me log in. Maybe when my computer pegs it for connection, it'll heat up a little bit more. All right, all right, it's creeping up to 39, and come on, come on. One more degree and an automatic cooling will kick in. Like I said, sorry folks, you will have to wait, but in the video I'll tell you what number to skip to. There we go, and there goes the automatic cooling. And that's it folks. It'll probably stay on longer now that I got the computer running. But my room is rather cool, so that's why it's cycling on and off. But anyway folks, hope you enjoyed. Have a good night. Bye bye. Hey guys, this is a quick video. Should cut back off here. Yep. Once it hits 30 it cuts back off. I just wanted to take that again. That was I'm telling you, this is the coolest thing I've ever did. Anyway, have a good night. Bye bye.